What's up everybody, Dre right back at it again with another video on Ground Branch. Today we're going to be talking about their Intel update, Road to 1031. This is a significant update for my main man, Ground Branch. So let's go ahead and hop into it while I still have time to freaking make this video. So what's been going on in Blackfoot Studio Country? Development has its ups and downs since our last release, which was actually quite a while ago now that I think about it. But we're hanging in here and doing our best. As always, here are some recent highlights. Chris was out of action for a while. Oh no, Chris. Having the only programmer and UE4 Wizard in your team mostly out of commission for about three weeks as engine and logic related tasks pile up on the checklist is never fun. Chris was on meds that left him drowsy and unable to focus. He's feeling better now and no, not COVID related, thank goodness. But since going off of them about a week ago, he has been catching up and pumping out fixes and under the hood work. This has definitely set things back considerably, but on the flip side, reinforcements have arrived. As some might be aware, we are recently, we were recently looking for an assistant UE4 developer programmer to share Chris's significant workload. And we are happy to announce that we now have that person on board. Ethan Wade, AKA Wade the Gamer, is a long time ground branch supporter and solo UE4 indie developer for his personal project. Project. As a guy with UE4 skills and many years of closely following the game, Waiter has been able to tackle a lot of minor and not so minor tasks, which we'll cover in a bit, and has been immensely helpful in implementing a quality of life improvements as well as helping the rest of the team get their work into the game. Mixon made a blanket hut to record Foley, which I actually remember this. <laughs> he posted that on Twitter not too long ago. And I'm like, damn, that's what you're working with? Man, this indie studio, right? But anyways, yes, our sound designer has been very busy, as we will show in a bit. You can see the legend set up for a recording crunchy, cleaning magazine drops, more on his work after the fold. How is 1031 coming along? Normally, we'd fill the section up with written details, screenshots, but since it's the holidays, the update isn't here yet. We thought we'd make it up to you with something a little nicer. And then they have a video here, which I will play right now. This is actually really cool. This makes the sounds so much better. I can't wait to actually try this game out again as soon as I actually have more time because I'm working on my house at the moment. But yeah, I will definitely hop back into Ground Branch. I f***ing love this new little sounds that they have here. Uh, I don't know. Did they say that it was actually out yet? Uh, I have to keep reading. That's right. Animations and character assets may have been delayed to 1032, which is a shame, but we're still making Ground Branch look and sound a little better in 1031 with a lot of new visual effects and audio improvements from entirely new sounds all the way to directional audio. Oh man, that's so cool. I can't wait to try it. Attachments. As shown, attachment controls are getting a much needed upgrade. You will soon be able to bind lights and lasers to your preferred keys, and those will both offer a hold and toggle functionality. Ooh, nice hold the key to keep it on as long as it's pressed or double tap to leave it on until you double tap it again to turn it off in making attachment user easier we have also moved the magnifier from the attachments wheel to the same key binds used for zooming in and out with the variable power scope the result is a much more intuitive and accessible control scheme lastly we are adding the ir illuminator function to the anpeg 15 a useful tool for nighttime ops especially in low contrast areas where the invisible light can help 
help outline targets. The illuminator will offer two settings, accessible via the reticle brightness, up and down commands, low outputs, a broader angle, dimmer IR lights, whereas high produces a more focused and brighter one. All right, moving on to the next thing here, we got wristwatch. A wristwatch that is a standard piece of gear. A wristwatch that is a standard piece of gear which displays the current time and compass ring that rotates according to the direction the player is facing. You know something? Escape from Tarkov actually added in a compass too, and that's just so goddamn helpful now. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait to see this compass. It should greatly improve teamwork and navigation, as players will be able to quickly figure out which way they are going, which way is the north wall, at which directions enemies have been spotted, and so on. Plan on adding more functionalities to the app in the future, such as heartbeat counter, to help estimate players' stamina status and maybe more. Oh, that's cool. It would actually be pretty cool to see uh, your stamina on there too. Unfortunately, it doesn't show how much stamina you have. Like, the only indication of it is when you actually sway the weapon. So it would be nice to know that. But uh, yeah, moving on to the next thing here, we got audio. New movement sounds that vary according to how much gear is being carried have also been implemented. And... Although we were not able to record previews at this time, this genuine graph makes it look very official. What are you saying? That it's not this. I mean, I don't know what this is supposed to mean, but okay. In addition to the new audio we have already mentioned, Mixin has been working on the pending map soundscapes for 747 and Power Station. And speaking of mount soundscapes, he is currently getting some done for these upcoming maps. Ooh, is that a new map? We don't want to give too much away, but John has been creating a pure CQB level. Oh, I love close quarter levels, my favorite. I freaking hate the big levels in, in ground match, I, I gotta be honest. And we got a hold of a couple of sneak peek shots for you. Oh my god. I feel like I've seen this map before, but I, I, I don't know. Oh my god. Let's see. We got this first picture here. This looks like the inside of a school, I'm assuming. Kind of looks like it. Oh, here we got the outside of it. Underneath the first picture, it says, no, you go first. This kind of reminds me of um, that one school level from Phasmophobia. Wouldn't it be crazy if they had like freaking ghost soundings around the map just to like scare people? Like, oh god, what the hell was that? Underneath the second picture, it says, anyone who says GB won't spawn some mean horror mods is a damn fo Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh no oh i was just i was just joking i didn't think that oh no promising right it's a nice change in mood from the current map selection and it's sure to captivate the old r6 crowd needless to say it's all a work in progress the new training complex is also scheduled to hit v31 and replace the old training areas with a single big map if you haven't checked it out already here are some previews i think this is the one that i showed off in one of the videos i can't remember which one um i think it was the previous one uh I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is one with the half-fake plane. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, yeah, so I've already seen this one. I was actually in the map that one time. Uh, yeah, it was a pretty cool map. I wonder what they changed on it, or, or if they changed anything at all. Uh, underneath the first picture, it says, The new aircraft takedown setup. Uh, it actually looks a little bigger from what I remembered. It looks like they might have extended it. The next picture right here says, The House of Pew Pew Redux. Uh, I don't see anything too different with it it looks relatively the same but i don't know it's been a while since i've seen the map so i need to go check it out uh, as mentioned you can run through this map by typing travel training base to, into the console okay i'll be sure to do that at some point in the near future menu work we've also been updating the ui to be more intuitive consistent and nicer looking here's how the setting screens and key icons are coming along man yeah, i definitely like the way it looks it looks a lot better i like how they have like the controls on the left there so you can actually just click it i can't remember where it was last time but it definitely looks more organized than what i remember the previous one was pretty cluttered because it was pretty much like on every or like uh, i think it was on the same screen right like all the other freaking controls that's what i remembered but uh yeah nice 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 okay so these are some of the things that are on their way for the next main release in addition to the stuff we have gone over you can definitely expect a couple of updated models here and there a new functionality or two and the general quality of life improvements and bug fixes all around for one thing game modes are having their foundations worked on by chris yeah i believe 1031 is supposed to also be be, uh, where we actually get game modes for the multiplayer because I mean there hasn't really been any like game modes we're just kind of like making stuff up as we go like in these events that we do like they don't actually end it's the freaking uh, moderator that has to end the game you know so hopefully with this new update which I believe they actually mentioned all the game modes that they were adding and they sounded pretty fun we'll have a great time you know though we don't have a whole lot of showcase from the department just yet which is unfortunate because I kind of want to hop into those game modes you know what I'm saying version 1032 
work continues in the background. In case you missed the build, and then I already showed that off in the previous video, you can click this at the top right if you want to check it out. Animation and character work had to be pushed to version 1032. We haven't shared progress on these fronts in a while, so let's take some time to do so in this post, shall we? Character assets. Some of you may recall that entirely new character assets by freelance artist Pow Penover? Pa Penalver? I'm sorry if I'm butchering these names. I'm really bad at that. I'm sorry. Are just waiting for the new character rig and animations to be fully set up and working in the game. Oh my god, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Dun, 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 dun. Although we have posted a lot of previews on these assets before, Pow has since uploaded a handful of albums showcasing his ground branch model in an even better light. So be sure to check out the eye candy here. Is this like an older post or is it? Oh no, it's actually these new posts i think are they not going to show off everything here dude the faces look like i mean you can't really see them but they actually do seem like they would they're going to look realistic whoa look at that wow look at that Ooh. are these like the bad guys or is this what you you're actually able to go in with that's what i'm assuming right wow look at all that Oh, hey, look, it. it's a freaking, uh, I forget what it's called, um, ghillie suit, right? Yeah, so that's what it looks like. Wow. Oh, man, I can't wait. Oh, oh, 1032. 1032 is where it's going to be at. All right, getting back to the update here. Animations. Keep in mind that the animations are still a work in progress and will likely receive multiple passes before their final iterations. These previews are captured straight from the editor and therefore you simplified lighting, texturing, and overall rendering. Camera placement and rigging are also subject to change. Reloads. Having up to four reloads per weapon is a lot of work for Mike. For communication and clarity purposes, we are categorizing them internally as proactive versus reactive, where you reload as a precaution between engagements or because your weapon has run out of ammo or because your weapon has run out of rounds respectively and retention versus no retention whether you keep the used ammo container or not see if you can figure out which one of these is which man the camera's a bit too far back on this first one here you can see like the hands kind of like weirdly twisted right there so i mean this is still a work in progress um this looks like he runs out of ammo with that first one this is just like a regular reload obviously and then here's another mp5 Yeah, the animations are getting better. I'll tell you that. It's a little rough. I'll tell you. At least with the, at least with certain here. At least the hand looked a little rough. But you know, it looks pretty good. Oh, oh! Did you see that? He hit the magin. Bam! Make sure that shit's in there. Bam! <laughs> and then we got the M4, I believe that is. Oh, oh! Did you see that? Bam! See if we can toss that off to the side. Nice. And then we got, what is this? The regular reload. And then this, what is this? Oh, this is like a fast reload when he drops it on the ground and then he tosses it in. All right, and then we got this right here. Let's see. This is the LMG. This just looks like a regular reload to me, like really fast. And then this one is, oh, that's like a fat. I mean, kind of like a fast because he like tosses the freaking box right there. Well, I think he tossed it in, this, in the previous one too, right? These ones don't look that different, to be honest. I, I would say that this one's a little faster, but yeah. That one's a little faster. Prone! Not too much to talk about here other than prone. Seeing some work again. Due to all of the possible issues that may arise with such a big feature, considering all the very complex implementations we in Ground Branch, we have here in Ground Branch, we could not 100% confirm prone to be ready in version 1032. But we sure as hell try our best. Below are some previews for crawling in various directions, all a work in progress. All right, so we got him with the LMG here going forward let's see okay okay i like that i like that i have to wonder what it looks like when he's actually going sideways does he like roll over that would be amazing if he rolls over this is the first person i'm assuming let's see hey hey that doesn't look too bad that does not look too bad at all proning backwards let's see oh oh that oh oh that doesn't look too bad oh that looks cool all right, let's see. Let's go backwards here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. I think I like it like that. Ba, 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 ba. Prone crawl left. Let's see. This is like a slow left. 
you know you're trying to get into position right there but you're just not quite there so you have to move a little to the left let's see first person not bad not bad not bad all right let's go right oh this one looks a little a little rough but i mean it's not a big deal to be honest now the first person animation looks okay though pretty nice pretty nice all right moving on oil rig oh my god i remember seeing this like a long time ago but it was like really like um it was just all gray textures i remember but now it actually has a freaking entry point and also you know it's like fully textured too so are these like the entry points where the helicopters are or i remember the developers of ground branch saying that they actually wanted to have people like drop in with helicopters um so is this going to be like the spawn points right here that's what i'm to assume right pretty pretty cool pretty cool i'm gonna be honest underneath this picture it says post sponsored by cso petrol cso socom i don't know the next picture that's here is a more interior part let's see what we got damn this is gonna be insane trying to see where the hell the enemy is because they could be like above you or down below it looks like there's multiple levels where they could actually be underneath the picture it says if you ever wanted to get shot from all possible directions simultaneously this is your map <laughs> oh i didn't even think oh man they read me like a goddamn book all right let's see the next picture is like an interior of some sort oh no it's just a night shot according to this obligatory night shot so you got the day and night map of oil rig which oh man i remember seeing oil rig so long ago i know that video is still up somewhere what it originally used to look like it was just um like a shade of gray but it did it did look as big as this i remember just not as finished and that's pretty much it for this update so overall i think a fantastic update 1031 isn't going to be as big as 1032 but it's definitely going to pack a punch you know it gives you the first punch but then 1032 just comes up and whacks you so i mean that was good I really liked it a lot. What are your thoughts? If you enjoyed the fact that I cover games like Ground Brands, then go ahead and like the video, share the video, and comment down below. If you're someone that would like to support the channel, check out my Patreon. Just send two bucks a month. It really helps. If you're someone that's new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and ding the bell. You never know, you might find something that you like on the channel. And with that all being said, I want to thank everybody for coming out to watch, and I guess I'll catch you in the next one. Bye bye